Hi students, welcome to my new channel where I will be teaching you about C++ which is based on CBSC Computer Science book. This. The author is Sumita Arora. Okay. First of all, I will teach you how to install C++. So for that you will have to type C++ plus plus software as I have searched it it will automatically come it will take two to three minutes to open it then the second or third link you can click on it where it is written download turbo C it is on a process yes this way you will see a website open here at the bottom it is written download turbo c++ as you, as you will click on it it will give you a download option the bottom it will be seen yes can you see this it is downloading After installing the software, the icon would be seen like this way on the desktop. You have to double click on this icon and the software will open. Now as we have completed our installing of C++ software, we will proceed further to the introduction of C++. Now here first we will see about the character set. What is a character set? A set of varied characters that can be used in the C++ program. Which are the valid characters? Those are letters, digit and special symbols. Also white space are included as a special character. Next topic, next topic is about tokens. In this first is identifier. What is an identifier? A name given to a program or a variable or a class, array, function are called identifier. There are some rules to follow for the identifier. First one is, first character should always be in a alphabet or underscore. So as you can see in the example, here we have written alphabets only and here we have started with underscore. Second point is, it cannot start with the number. So as you can see in the example, this is an invalid identifier. Third one, we can use number and letter at the succeeding place. So first you, it is compulsory to write alphabet and then you can use number or underscore. Underscore is also used in first at first place but numbers are compulsory to be written at the second place or then any more number. Fourth one is no special characters are allowed except underscore and two underscores are not allowed at a time so here here we as you can see the example just one is allowed two are not allowed and the fourth point is keywords cannot be used as an identifier what are keywords that we will learn in the next point now here one note is given C++ is a case sensitive programming so what is case sensitive as you can see over here capital A, A is written in this ABC and small a is written. So these two are two different identifiers. You can use this in one program as a two different name. Now, second point is about keywords. Here in the box as you can see there are many names given. These names are called keywords. This do have special meaning in the C++. And the functionalities are different according to its words given. The third point in the tokens are constants. Constants are immutable values which cannot be changed or cannot be modified during the execution of program. What it actually means we will learn when we do the program. The next point in token is about operators. There are some operators in the C++ which helps us to make the programming easy. 
first one is assignment operator it will give the value from right hand side to the left hand side right to left give the value or any variable which contains the value is given to the operand which is to the left hand side the next is arithmetic operator it includes plus minus multiplication division and module this sign is called module sign third one is increment and decrement operator increment which increase the value by 1 and decrement will reduce the value by 1 relational operators it shows the relation between two conditions or two operators this is greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to equal equal to and not equal to fifth one is logical operator here we have and this is called an and operator or operator and not operator where it is used this will see in the program the sixth one is conditional operator you can also call it as a ternary operator why because we have two objects to be used and three condition one condition and two statements now what will work in this is if the condition is true it will execute the first statement if the condition is false it will automatically go after this colon and will execute the second statement seventh one is the bitwise operator as you can see over here these are the bitwise operators and the last one is special operator which includes size of when you want to find the size of any data type it will be used then next is comma operator which will separate the variables and the third one is address of to find any address of a variable where it is stored in the memory it will be used like this way the next is pointer variable it when this point will come I'll explain it in the later videos the most important topic of C++ is header file what is header file header file is a standard library file that offers its user a variety of function to declare a header file in a program we use preprocessor directive called hash include as you can see over here hash and include is to be written there are two types of header file standard library header file and user defined header file standard library header file means it is already defined in the C++ only with the help of preprocessor directive hash include you have to use them some of them are iostream string.h conio.h stdlib.h math.h and iomanip.h also fstream.h when we we'll do the program on it we'll see it the second one is user defined header file which means user can also define their own header file with the help of this hash define now using all this topic we'll create a simple program in C++ so now let us start the programming here in this channel I will be mainly focusing on programming so first we'll start with the simple program which will print hello world to start the program first we'll have to add the header file to add a header file we'll write hash include with the angular bracket we'll write iostream dot h which shows that it is a header file and this iostream will help us to get the value and to give the value to the computer which is c in and c out functions are being used in the with the help of this io string the next header file is hash include conio now this conio.h is used to hold the output screen in the program after writing header file we'll use the main function with the data type void void main with the parenthesis and as it is a function we'll use the curly braces 
void mean is a compulsory function to indicate that from here the program starts or the beginning of the program is shown with the help of void mean. The compiler will first find the void mean function and then it will search for the rest of the functions. The first statement what we will write over in the function is clrscr. This is used to clear the output screen. Next is cout and the two greater than sign. Then in the double quotes we will write the text. This would be printed whatever text which is which is written within the double quote would be printed as it is the use of cout function is for printing the data onto the output screen the cout is a keyword to take the data whatever is written between the double quotes so i here i'll write hello world hello world yes then i'll go to end the last statement what I will write is get ch. Get ch will hold the output screen to show the output. Now first we will compile the program by clicking on compile and clicking on this button or you can use a keyboard where you have to press alter plus f9. Here I, for the first time I will click with the mouse. There are no errors. Yes, we can run the program click on run and yes you can see over here we got the output hello world this was the first program where you have seen the header files being used this is the void main function without which the program will not run and cout will execute the statements which are written in between double quotes here in the program at the end i would like to say that please do not forget to write this semicolon because then it will show you the error and the program will not run. Now for the next session we will use data type and variables. Till, till then stay tuned and please do subscribe my channel. Do not forget to like, share and comment on my video. Thank you.